So in the last video, you saw that uh, I bought a mouse from GearBest, but I actually bought two. Uh, and this one is uh, even cheaper than the other one. This is uh, another mouse that costed around $15 from GearBest. Very nice presentation. The box is kind of reminds me of a, of a miniature tube box, but as you can see on the top, a little description on the mouse. The, the brand is Zelotes Gaming Mouse. This one is rechargeable, has a built-in lithium battery, a 1500 milliamp lithium battery, and in addition, can uh, the cable can be attached, so you can use it as a, with, with uh, cable rather than uh, um, being wireless. Uh, 2.5 uh, gigahertz, and let me see if I can unbuckle this. By the way, there's you know some more information on the back of the, the box. You feel free to pause it and read. Uh, up to 3,200 uh, DPI's, uh, breeding effects. I know people, I guess, are, are big on breeding effects. I'm not that big on that. Seven different colors. Breeding recharge, uh, building rechargeable battery. Uh, for more um, details, visit our website. Well, I think we can figure it out without it. Once you open it, you can see the mouse right away on top. Let me pull it out and see how it is. Actually, this mouse is, I believe, bigger than the other one. Yeah. This is, this is definitely more of a, for a palm grip people. Reminds me of uh, the Mionics you saw on the, my main mouse that you saw on the previous video. Uh, very good triggers. Quiet, just like how I like them. Uh, have the same rubberized cover on top of it. And on the side is just the plastic. Uh, we have, again, DPI adjustment buttons trigger or shooting button or you know whatever you're gonna call it forward and backwards wheel smooth wheel rubberized that can be clicked as a third button and uh, on the front you see where the micro um, USB cable can be plugged so you can um, charge and at the same time use it as a wired mouse rather than wireless uh, on the bottom okay they even covered with plastic there the, the Teflon sliding feet, which is great. Uh, we have the receiver right here, which is, I think, magnetic. Yeah, it's magnetically uh, held by the, the mouse. And we have a button that turns it on and off and probably turns on the lights and turns off the lights based on that. But we'll see what else is in the side of the box. Uh, there's another button on the other side. I'm not sure what that one is for. Uh, let me see what else is inside the box. If I remove that, there's a micro USB cable that can be used for charging and for the mouse. It's a little stiff. We'll see how it is when we plug it in. And uh, we have a manual as well in English, which is great description of the buttons and let's see what's uh, what's number eight number eight uh, multimedia okay we'll see what multimedia means and the nine is the light control okay we'll see light control how much light we can control with that um, yeah I mean some more data here frequency channel optics operation voltage uh, weight uh, 115 grams okay so, so with this with this trigger I guess you can switch between gaming mode and eco mode so they kind of boosts up to 500 Hertz in game and 250 at work okay I guess this is fine yeah we'll, we'll take a little bit of figuring out but I think it's nothing too complicated uh, we'll see how it is when we plug it in good that we have some uh, some manual and it's you know obviously in English that's a plus. All right, so let's uh, put it next to uh, the Mionix, plug it in and see how it looks. All right, now that we have the wireless receiver plugged in, we can see that we have the same kind of a breeding effects, uh, similar to the other mouse, which actually is sitting right here next to it. Um, Size-wise, compared to this one, let me move the Mionix out of the way real quick. Um, they're about the same, but uh, the wireless one is a bit taller, kind of more chunkier, I guess. Yeah, I think this one will be more comfortable for me. Um, 
and the same colors are changing all around when you change the DPI as you can see it goes through different colors as the purple teal I think the teal is the fastest no we have green as well back and forward working trigger button interesting that triggered my browser which is great clicking noise pretty good scrolling up and down is very good as well uh, good news on the back and forward you don't have to add or adjust anything it works right off the bat let me plug it in with a cable and see how it's gonna look so the cable is not braided obviously but it's soft initially I thought it's stiffer but it's very soft uh, keep in mind that it's shorter than normal and normal I consider six feet this one is definitely five feet so if you're planning to use it on cable make sure you have enough length between the mouse and your computer so you won't uh, have to find an extension or something uh, but uh, it's the same experience and once it's plugged in to your computer obviously charges as well the built-in non-removable 1500 milliamp battery uh, I'm very really, very really curious to find out how long that battery is gonna last so I'm gonna test the longevity of the building battery and I'll let you know in a later video we'll do some comparison between this one and the Motorsport uh, and obviously my favorite currently and been for years Mionix which still I believe is the pillow for your hands it's still uh, better uh, ergonomically than, than this or the other one but again you know they're far more cheaper this one is, you know, 60, 70 dollars. Sorry about knocking out the camera. But we'll test and see. For now, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, this is the Z Lots gaming mouse that can be operated as cabled or wireless as well at the same time. Uh, can be charged through the micro USB, built in 1500 milliamp battery. Doesn't have adjustable weights, but it's pretty heavy. Um, not as heavy as this one that has the adjustable weights, but this one gives you gives you pretty good grip and heft on it. Okay, uh, forgot to mention one very good thing about this mouse, and this is the buttons on the bottom. If you switch it to the middle rather than all the way up, there will be no lights. In other words, you're not gonna have the breathing effect, you're not gonna have all the lights, which is perfect if you wanna be stealthy and not attract airplanes, other low flying objects with all the blinking and lights. And at the same time, if you wanna have the lights, you can switch it all the way up and the lights are back on. So as you can see, breathing effect is back, changing colors is back. So if you wanna switch it, that's it. The other button, uh, gaming in eco mode and multimedia, this is kinda just the uh, sensor and the, um, fast the speed of it you can see even the the color of the sensor is changing or the intensity I would say so if you keep it on gaming it will be more responsive uh, and fast so yeah that's pretty much it till next time you have a wonderful day